welcome back. Today's video is going to be a one brand makeup tutorial featuring BH Cosmetics. Everything that I've tried from BH Cosmetics I absolutely loved. I've only tried a couple things but I figured since it was Cyber Monday I would do a huge order on there because their stuff is really affordable and then on Cyber Monday everything was like 10 times more affordable which is insane. So in my last one brand tutorial this one got the most thumbs up and then Elf and NYX also got like a million thumbs up. Not really but you know what I mean. So those are going to be my next one brand tutorials but today it's all about BH Cosmetics. I'm going to just be chatting, trying out the products and seeing what works works and what doesn't. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to grab a snack or something to eat because it's going to be a long one. So I apologize in advance, but yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right into it and try out these goodies. Alrighty, so of course, per usual, I'm going to be starting with brows. Today I have the BH Studio Pro HD Brow Pencil. This one's in the shade Brunette. I saw this on their website and they had a lot of good reviews about it. And I also really love the fact that it comes with a spoolie on one end. So that's always really convenient. So, I don't know. Let's just go ahead and try this out. I'm just going to follow along with the natural shape of my brows per usual. Okay, so far I really like the formula of it because it's a little bit stiff, but it's still creamy. I think this color is pretty good too. This reminds me a lot of the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Like, it's like the same type of formula. This brow pencil is absolutely amazing. I feel like one of my brows looks a little bit uneven and darker than the other, but I always have issues with my brows. But I do really like this brow pencil a lot. It was really easy to work with, and I mean, I love it. What I'm going to do is go ahead and carve out my brows. I got this BH Concealer and Corrector 6 Color Palette, and I'm just going to be using this really light shade. It's like a yellowy concealer color just to carve out my brows and clean them up. I'm going to be using this flat shader brush. This one is from Wet n Wild. Wow, it's really, really creamy. Holy cow. Damn. I'm going to be using the BH sponge just to blend that out. The sponge is a little stiff, like right off the bat. It doesn't feel super like squishy. Okay, so now that I look super crazy, I'm just going to leave that concealer like that because I'm going to go over top with foundation anyway. Next, I have the Marble Collection Warm Stone Palette. You guys, this is such a beautiful, luxurious looking palette. I absolutely love the packaging of it. It comes with a huge mirror and you get 12 eyeshadows, mattes and shimmers. This is like my, like my love. Like if I had an eyeshadow palette, it would look like this because it's just so sleek. The shade selection is like right up my alley. It's so gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is, oh my gosh, I almost forgot to pry on my lids. Mm. So I have the eyeshadow primer. This one is in the shade Bisque and it looks like a MAC paint pot, which is awesome. So I'm going to just go ahead and prime my lids. Ooh, damn, that is like really creamy and opaque. So it's one of those primers that you have to work with fast. You can't like leave it sit and then blend it out. You have to really blend it out quick because it'll dry up. Okay, now we can get on to the beautiful palette. So anyways, yeah, this palette was like $11. I don't know how much it retails for like originally, but I think it's just one of the most beautiful palettes I've ever seen. Like not even kidding. So I'm going to start off with that kind of camel tone shade. And I'm going to be using this uh, BH also brush. Some of the brushes are not going to be BH and some of them are because I got a brush kit from them a couple weeks ago and I really, really like it. So I'm just going to start off with this shade and just apply it right into my crease. Oh my goodness, I keep forgetting steps. I need to apply some tape. Right now I can take that color into my crease. Okay, it's pigmented, blending out really nice. I'm gonna apply this shade on my lid pretty much everywhere. Okay, 
I'm going to be taking that silvery shade and I'm just going to apply this all over the center of my lid using another BH flat shader brush. Okay. This, it's pigmented, but it's a little bit sheer as well, so mm, I need to get a spray to spray that. I'm using some of my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. I'm going to dip back into that eyeshadow and then just spray my brush to make it a little bit more pigmented on the lid. Yeah, that helps a lot. That makes it way better. Ooh, that's a really pretty color once you build it up. I like that. You do have to build the color up. You can see with just a little bit, even wet, it's a little splotchy. But, again, once you build it up, it's really, it's not a big deal. Okay, picking up a little bit of that kind of chocolatey shade. I'm just going to take a Sigma E25 blending brush and apply that on the outer part very gently okay this shade is pigmented and a little bit goes a long way I'm starting off very very minimal with this color because it's so dark I don't want it to be like super 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 harsh I'm going to just add a little bit more of that silver shade on my lid because I feel like I lost it with that darker brown. Next, I'm going to be picking up that really dark brown. It looks black, but it's like in person, it's like a really deep, dark, like chocolate, dark chocolate brown. So what I'm going to do with that is just take it on a really tiny angled brush. This one is from Royal and Lang Nickel. You can find that brand at Walmart. And I'm basically going to be doing my wing with eyeshadow. I do this a lot. I've been doing this for the past couple of months. I love it so much because it's a lot less harsh than just traditional winged liner and it looks really smoky and pretty. So I'm going to just do that. I first start off with the wing part and I kind of just follow along with the edge of the tape. It makes it really easy to do. Then I just remove the tape and you have your nice little wing. Then I'll just take a baby wipe to just kind of wipe away the fallout and clean up the eyeshadow. Alright, next up I'm going to be applying some mascara. This is the Fierce Volume Extreme Mascara and I'm just going to do a couple coats because I do have some falsies. The wand is ginormo, you guys. Like, look at this. It's huge. It's not really doing a whole lot for my eyelashes. Okay, for lashes I have the Baby Doll Lash and this is what they look like. They, just by the presentation of the way that they look, they remind me of the ones that I tried from the Dollar Tree um, from the brand Color Mates, which I actually really liked, so maybe these will be really good. They were sold out of like a ton of their lashes that I wanted, so I just went with these because I wanted to try them out. I don't know if you guys can really see, they're like really flimsy, the lashes, so I'm not sure how well they're going to apply, but... We'll see. Okay, so I popped on the lashes. I had such a hard time, you guys. This is what they look like. I did apply that mascara a little bit over top. They're really flimsy. The band was really thin, really hard to apply. It literally took me 15 minutes to apply my eyelashes, so they don't look the best, I know, but I wouldn't repurchase those baby doll lashes just because for me personally, they were too hard to apply, and I think there's like better lashes out there. Like The style of them isn't like all that amazing, you know? So it wasn't worth the trouble. Okay, so now moving on to the face, I'm going to be starting off with the BH Studio Pro Foundation Primer. This says it's a... This doesn't have any claims on it. I don't know. Oh, okay. It looks like a kind of like a foundation color. So this is probably like meant for pores. I'm 
Oh my god, this reminds me so much of the Dr. Brandt Pores No More primer. Oh my goodness, the consistency of it, the way it looks, the way it feels. Oh my god, it's really, really soft. It's not like a silicone primer though, it's like just really soft. Okay, literally this is like the Dr. Brandt Pores No More, except it doesn't have a smell. Might be a dupe, I don't know. I mean, obviously this was the first time I used it, but that literally is like the same thing as the other one. So I have a foundation. This is the liquid foundation. I'm not, I don't remember if they had other ones, but I already know this is gonna be way too dark for me. Like this is, is so dark, oh my goodness. But this one is in the shade Medium Olive M3. It's a shake before use. Shake, shake, shake. Love the fact that it comes with a pump. This is a really like luxurious looking foundation, which I love. So I'm gonna just apply this on the back of my hand first. Oh, this is gonna be, oh my goodness, this is gonna be way too dark. Okay, but it's okay, we're gonna make it work. I'm just gonna use the BH sponge to blend it out. This is way too dark. I don't like this sponge, you guys. It's really, really hard to work with. It's like, it just doesn't feel like bouncy on my skin. I don't, I can't work with it. I can't, I don't like it. So what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit more of that foundation. I feel like it's kind of like taking off the foundation because it has so much water soaked into it because it's a little bit more like stiff. Ugh, I just don't like it. So I'm gonna take this uh, concealer palette and I'm gonna have to mix some of the shades to lighten up this foundation. So I'm gonna be taking these two light banana colors and I'm just gonna draw a couple lines on my face I don't know what I'm doing right now you guys I'm just kind of uh, going with it I'm gonna use my original beauty blender just to blend everything out okay the foundation itself doesn't look bad when it's on my skin coverage isn't like super super full coverage I would say it's like kind of I don't know like it's not light coverage, but it's not medium. It's like light medium, I guess. Um, I need to take more of this concealer palette and apply more of these concealers to my face because uh, yeah, this foundation needs to be lightened out. So this is kind of like a fail, but not really. <laughs> Gotta make do with what you have. I don't wanna use a different foundation because I could easily do that just to lighten this up, but I wanna keep this look all BH Cosmetics. Okay, now I look pale as ever. So then I'm going to take the peach corrector in this palette and I'm going to be applying that underneath my eyes because I have some dark circles peeking through. Ooh, that is really creamy. Very nice. And by the way, the green shade in this palette is meant for redness. So like if you have like maybe some red like acne or if you just have like rosacea or something, that would be really good. And then I'm gonna be using the same concealer shades just underneath my eyes. As if I need more concealer on my face, right? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I'm using the BH Studio Matte Finish Press Powder in the shade 205. And just feeling this, it feels really like luxurious, very soft and velvety. So I'm gonna be starting off with a smaller brush. This one's from Royal and Lang Nickel. It's the contour brush, just to apply this underneath my eyes to set my concealer and the places where I applied like the highlighted concealer. And then I'm gonna use a bigger brush just to um, set the rest of my face. Then this brush is from BH, and I'm just gonna set the rest of my face with this powder. I forgot about my brow gel. I got this Flawless Brow Gel. This one is in the shade Brunette, and I'm just gonna go ahead and set my brows. I feel like they're a little bit powdery. I 
I like the gel. I feel like it made my brows look more brown. They were really dark. Okay, you guys, my face literally looks like a different color, so we're going to just disregard that because I had some issues. Hopefully with the bronzer and blush, it'll be, like, way better. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just finish up the rest of my eyeballs, and I'm going to just take a little bit of that kind of, it's like a reddish color, and I'm going to apply that right underneath my lower lashes. I'm going to actually mix that in with that brown shade that we used earlier. Yeah, these lashes, I do not like them, you guys. And I know that they don't look good. And I also want to highlight my inner corners. So I'm just going to be using this really tiny little brush. I'm going to pick up that creamy brow bone shade. And I'm going to apply that in the inner corners of my eyes. Damn! Do you see how pigmented that is? Holy guacamole. And I'm also going to... Oh my goodness! That shade is like... So pigmented it's like way more pigmented than the silver that I was using earlier I feel like that silvery shade that I applied on my lid it like completely fades like after you blend out other colors and stuff in the crease it just like comes off so I'm gonna just finish up my face and then I'll be all finished so these next products I have tried this contour and blush palette one of my subscribers actually sent this to me a couple months ago for my birthday which I think is so sweet you can see it's extremely like versatile like it's super different this contour shade is extremely dark so obviously I'm gonna go very light-handed with it because it's so dark so I'm gonna take this angled brush again from the same kit that I have and I'm just going to give myself a natural contour it's very pigmented their face palettes that I've tried I really really do like because they're really good quality And for blush, I'm going in with the 10 color palette, and this palette I do love. I've used it in several tutorials, and it's absolutely beautiful. I love the shade selection in here, so I'm just going to be picking up the kind of pinky tone shade, and I'm going to mix it with the bronzy colors and peachy colors. I don't know. I always just mix my brush in different colors to create my perfect shade. I don't know what is up. My face looks a little bit blotchy, like applying that blush. I've never had any issues with that before or the bronzer. So I feel like it's like the concealer and the foundation and like all the layers that I did on my face is what's like kind of not helping my blush and my bronzer to go on super smooth. Because I don't know if you guys can see like my cheeks look blotchy. I'm going to go ahead and highlight. And I got a new highlighter. This is the Ashley Tisdale Illuminate in the shade Shimmer. So it's like a really pretty kind of like rose gold tannish shade. Hopefully it's not too dark for my skin tone, but I'm just going to use a small stippling brush. This one's by e.l.f. just to go ahead and highlight. It's really dark. I thought it was going to be lighter. I feel like this would be good for like tanner skin tones. Yeah, the highlight's not like the best, to be honest. I feel like even for darker skin tones, this isn't like super pigmented to be honest it's not really that pigmented at all when you swatch it it doesn't give you much of a glow I feel like this would be like a good blush topper maybe because if you want like a light sheen because it's literally not like barely showing up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of the eyeshadow in here from the eyeshadow palette and I'm just gonna apply that to my cheekbones because I want to glow girl and that shade was really pretty gotta improvise sometimes you know when something doesn't work you gotta just keep going and make it work last but not least for my lips I have a lip liner today this one is in the shade stripped it's the waterproof lip liner it's like a really pretty kind of mauve tone pink of course This is good. This is really creamy. Very, and I love the color. Very easy to work with, which... I have a liquid lipstick. This one is in the shade Muse, and I love this color. It's almost like a grayish kind of tone. They don't smell like anything. This looks like a ColourPop Trap 
formula is very thin, which is good. Alright guys, so this is the completed look. So as you saw, I had a lot of hits and misses. I would say it's kind of like 50-50 with all the products that I got today. So let's just do a quick rundown of everything and I'll let you guys know what I liked and what I didn't like. So let's start off with what I did like. So I really enjoyed the brow products. So I know my brows don't look the best right now. I feel like they look a little harsh, but I don't have perfect brows to begin with. So I struggle so much trying to find good products that work for me that can help me with my brows. So these so far I really love. Even the brow gel is really good. So these are a win-win for me. As for the lip products, also a win-win. So far I'm loving the shades. I'm loving the formula of both the lip liner and the liquid lipstick. So I plan on probably ordering more of these and yeah, I love them so far. Also the eyeshadow base is amazing. I love how creamy it is and just how it concealed everything on my lids, like the veins, discoloration. It was really easy to blend, but like I mentioned earlier, you do have to work quickly with this because it does kind of dry if you leave it sit there for too long. This does remind me a lot of the MAC paint pot. So if you're looking for that, like a cheaper alternative, I would get this one because so far I really do like it. And then another thing that I really enjoyed was the, where's it at? The eyeshadow palette. I'm kind of like on the fence about it though. Like I love the shades that I use, like the matte colors, but that shimmery like silver that I have on my lid, I felt like I had to build it up so much. And when I blended other shades, it completely faded. So you saw like it towards the end, I kind of had to like apply a little bit more. So I don't know if it's just that color, but you saw like that vanilla shade is like so pigmented. The one that I used to highlight, it's like insanely pigmented. So maybe I feel like some of these shades are like really good and then others, they're not the best. So I feel like the palette so far is a little inconsistent, but I'm going to keep playing with it and I'll let you guys know, but I just love the presentation and packaging of it. It's gorgeous. Just so stunning. Another thing that I really liked also was the uh, BH Studio Pro powder. This was really nice on the face. It makes everything look and feel really soft. Um, so this so far for me was really good. Also this primer. This primer reminds me so much of the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. Like I wish you guys could feel both of them. Oh my goodness, I'm like in shock because I literally feel like it's the same thing. Like the formula, the way it blends, everything. So this for me was really good so far. Obviously I'm gonna keep using it with different face products but I really did like this primer. So as for the misses, this highlight like Illuminate by Ashley Tisdale, not my favorite. I don't know what it is, it's just not super pigmented and for a highlighter on my skin tone at least, it's a little too dark but even if I feel like you're darker, this isn't super opaque it's just kind of like powdery so I'm gonna try and use this as a blush topper but this is not my favorite at all and then of course the lashes are not cute I mean I don't like them they're very flimsy I don't like the style of them even applying mascara I feel like it made them look even worse but I'm definitely gonna take these off like right after this video because they're just they're not cute and they're like literally curling up right now so I, I just they're ready to come off already and I didn't even have them on for like a full hour yet. The concealer palette, I do like it. Like I liked it for carving up my brows. I liked the peach correctors. Um, the concealers are not my favorite. I mean, they were blendable and easy to work with underneath my eyes, but I don't know. I still prefer regular traditional concealer. So I like the palette for what it's worth and the concept of it, but it's not something that I feel like you absolutely need in your life, you know what I mean? And then the foundation, even though I didn't really get a, too much of a chance to play with it because I used concealer over top of it to balance out the color as best as I could, uh, it's not my favorite. Like formula of it when I applied it was like decent, but then actually blending it out, it didn't give me the best coverage. So I'm probably going to need to mix this definitely with another foundation or get this in like a lighter shade or something. I don't know. We shall see. But the packaging is really good though. So I don't know. I will definitely keep you guys updated on all these products in upcoming videos and tutorials as always. So that does complete this video. Don't forget to let me know down below in the comments if you guys have tried any of these products and what your thoughts are on them. Also, let me know what brand you guys want to see for my next one brand makeup tutorial. I have a feeling NYX and ELF is going to win. So those are definitely going to be on my top list, but let me know which one you want to see first. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. All details will be in the description box below. I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye!